Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to automatic install modules. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a custom module model, some basic views, right? Please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, please visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 development tutorial is here. And you can see this is the main playlist of Odoo 17, right? And if you want to learn more about Odoo with the different topics, you can see here Odoo development. And once you click to the view all, you can see different topic wise with the real task cases. So let's back to our main topic like how to install automatic modules. If you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. In this discussion, first you have to understand what I mean for this session, right? So let's say. In our previous session, we already discussed, like let's say once I will install this module, right? So whatsoever dependent modules here, the cells in digest, right? First, it will install this one and after it will automatically install this cells module, right? This is the general flow of the installation, right? In Odoo, there is also one more interesting thing is, let's say, this QS restaurant, right? This module, once I will install this module, it will automatically also install in the backend side, right? Without adding this QS underscore restaurant in the, into this many, into this depends here. So this is the main case you have to understand. So this is the main topic for this session, okay? So once I install this module automatically, this module installed so how it is possible right yes it is possible in the manifest file and there is a one unique key which we already discussed in the manifest file introduction so in case you don't know about the manifest file right please check this session and our last session was create the basic module for the odoo 17 and yeah so this is the main session about the manifest file so let's say here, I'm trying to create one more module. So first thing is I'm trying to create a new module, score. In the manifest file, first thing is the score, right? I will try to remove everything. Now let's uh, I will try to create one more module school underscore student. And in the depend, I'm trying to use like let's say student. And for the school as a let's say student, right? Okay. Now, let's see what I mean. Restart the service, restart is compulsory, right? And let's say I will try to update the app list. I will search here school and student. Now you can see school and student underscore school both are available here in this app list. Oops. So let me delete this one. Here for the school and for this school student also having the same like depend as a student, right? But right now you can see that it's by default installed. Now, like what I will do is I will uninstall this module. Again, I'm going to apps, find out like let's say student and school, right? Now, once I will install this module, right? As you already know, like in our last session, we discussed about the depends, especially the modules, right? Once I will install this module, in case this dependent module is not installed, so first it will try to install this dependent module. This is the same case I'm trying to show you and after that like I will show you the different way. 
once I click here, I mean install this school module, automatically two modules install. School and student. So you can see student is also installed and school is also installed, right? But you can see the school underscore student is not installed. Why? Because we didn't install this module at the moment. But let's say once I will uninstall this module, school student right and here in this uh, let's say let's say let's say here not here, here student and here I will add one more key auto underscore install true so once this module installed the dependent module is installed after automatically this module also installed without install this module okay so once i will restart the service right update list now you can see the change right the name you can see here the dependent is student here you can see also school right dependent is also student and not installed now you can see here in the list view all module is not installed stack now again i'm going to install school module so you can see automatically this student module also installed plus once this module install immediately this student underscore school underscore student module also automatically installed without i will click to this button for this module right so i'm trying to i'm going to install this module please remember here the first step like i i just installed this module and after automatically install two modules one is the student and another is the school right but the first case student underscore school is not installed so here once i install this module or let's say this student module now you can see the school underscore student also installed how it is possible because we used here auto underscore install equal to true so what it what that mean right so simple i'm going to here oh let's say group by automatic install so you can see here automatically install this module list and auto install module list right so here yes means this modules automatically install prior knowledge to the admin user in this case i'm as an admin user once i will install any of the dependent module right it will automatically install this module so this is the main purpose of this manifest file key auto underscore install equal to true by default it's a false so let's say if you have some functionality and uh, there is some modules right your module automatically install once the mo this module the depends module install after immediately this module also install then you have to use auto underscore install true now let's say question is there let's say what about i have like multiple modules right so all modules install after automatically this module also install so let's try so let's say in this case let's say here sales student sales student right you can see auto install true when the school underscore student module also installed this two module is installed after automatically this sales underscore student module also installed so let me refresh the restart the service update app list school student now let's say the student module i'm trying to uninstall this module first 
again I'm going to here in the apps student school here you can see the cell student right let me so in this if you have such error right so you can simply delete like this and update one more time after that you can see here the cells right and you can see all are the dependent modules right but i am not trying to install this module i'm trying to only student module in this case so once i install this module right the depend is the best module right now you can see automatically one module the school underscore student module install here you can see three modules installed right why the reason is once i install this module automatically this module also install and if you remember when we in the cells module you can see auto install is true right so in this case first this module student install why because the depend module is installed and once so here in this case the depend module is school student and the student both are installed after automatically this module installed again one more case is there let's remove this one or oh, let's say in the student uh, let's say here i'm trying to add as a false so i don't want to auto install this module let me restart i'm going to here apply uh, not apply but update app list i'm going to here uninstall this module let me also remove one more time so we don't have any issue update app list now you can see only cells underscore student module is the auto install module uh, based on these two module once installed automatically this module also installed so once i install this module right now only this module is also installed the rest three not installed let's see school student you can see cell student school and student school this three module is not installed yet right but let's say once i will try to install this module now you can see automatically one more module installed which is cell student why because you can see it depends two modules student and school underscore student right so one these two modules installed after automatically this module also installed so again the question is what is the purpose of this key right so let's say there is a some patches or let's say there is a some functionality uh, you are trying to extend for the dependent module and you don't need to wait for the admin user to install that module right so in this case you can use auto underscore install equal to true so this is the main purpose for this key i hope you understood this concept if you still have a doubt please rewind this session and try to understand like how it is working as a functional side so you will automatically understood what is the main purpose of this auto underscore install key in the manifest file if you still have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session going to be very interesting because in our next session i'm going to show you different types of fields available in Odoo 17. so see you there